In this tutorial, you will learn how to fit for thickness and refractive index of an unknown transparent or dielectric film on silicon. I have the data open here, and the very first thing I notice is that there are clear, strong oscillations in the data. This is a telltale sign for a transparent material. First, I'm going to open a blank model. In the model panel, click open. In the basic folder is a file labeled blank. Dot MOD. This is the empty blank model. We know that the substrate is silicon, so we can enter silicon optical properties for the substrate. Click on the blue letters none. In the semiconductor folder, you'll find various material files for silicon. We usually recommend SI underscore JAW. After we have the substrate entered, we can add a film using the layer command add. This brings up the add layer to model window. I can position my cursor above or below the substrate. Pos position it above the substrate and click once. Because we know this is going to be a transparent material, we're going to use the Cauchy equation, which is found in the basic folder. The Cauchy equation is a common choice for transparent materials. After the Cauchy layer is entered, you can click the plus sign to expand the layer. You'll see A, B, and C values. These are the Cauchy coefficients that are used to describe the shape of index versus wavelength. You can enter a starting thickness value by clicking on the thickness here. Once you have a starting thickness guess, click Generate in the Fit panel. From here we can make some educated adjustments to the model that will give us closer starting values. The number of oscillations in the data is related to the film thickness. So I notice my model generated data has one oscillation, whereas my experimental data has five oscillations. So the starting guess of 100 nanometers is too small. I can hold my mouse over this value, press the shift key, and scroll the mouse wheel up to increase thickness. And as I do this, you can see the number of oscillations in the model generated curves are increasing. When I get around 560 nanometers, the number of oscillations is a much better match. The peaks are still off, and this is related to the index difference between the experimental data and my model guess here. The Cauchy coefficient A is approximately equal to index at long wavelengths. Again, if I hold my mouse over this value and press the shift key, I can scroll up or down to adjust this value. And you'll see the peak height in the model generated data adjust accordingly. Somewhere around A equals 1.65. Looks like the peak heights are a much better match. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust my thickness again to compensate. So now, with a thickness of around 460 nanometers, an index around 1.65, again that's the Cauchy A parameter approximately, you can see that the data are very close match, both in height and in number of oscillations. Now I can turn on my fit parameters, right click on thickness, A, B, and C, and press fit. Now the software algorithm adjusted all of these values to find the perfect match between the model and the experimental data, and results are shown here in the fit panel. So I have the thickness reported here. If I want to view the resulting optical constants, I can right click on the Cauchy layer, select graph layer optical constants. Now these are displayed in the graph panel. I can right click, 
copy graph or copy data to clipboard, paste in Excel or any other program.